cause I'm young Why they tryna hate on having fun, I'm just young It's my intuition, blur my vision cause it's fun Tuesday night I'm drunk as f***ing laughing cause I'm young They so f***ing salty that I'm out here getting dumb Cause I'm young So I put my point shoes on for the first time. The last time I wore these things was January 19th, which means it had been almost two months since I last wore my point shoes. So I was quite rusty back in the bricks. I'm not gonna lie, it was really painful. And getting back to ballet and like dancing again was actually the easiest part of my recovery journey. And I never thought that getting back on point was gonna be the hardest part of my recovery journey. At this point in my recovery process, I was already doing full class in flat shoes I was even doing point class in flat shoes I was already turning I was already jumping doing grand allegro and basically doing everything I was doing before my surgery except for point and this ended up being the hardest part of my recovery process I felt like my old dancer self again in my flat shoes but once I put the point shoes on I knew it was gonna be a whole nother battle to get through this. <laughs> but I took it very slowly. Instead of taking point class in my flat shoes like I usually did, I put on my point shoes and I just did super slow releves at the bar. I took this opportunity to rewire and reset my muscle memory so that I could reteach my body how to releve in point shoes with the proper technique. This is how you come back from injury even stronger than you were before. You have this opportunity to relearn things, and that is how you become an even stronger athlete. Okay, y'all, to preface this part of the video, this took place the next day, which was Tuesday, March 16th. And what had happened was we were all in the studio ready to start class. We were all getting warmed up. We were stretched. And some time passed by and our teacher hadn't showed up. And we found out that our teacher had an emergency and they had to leave and they couldn't teach class for that day. So we were all scrambling and we didn't know what the hell to do. So my friend Haley came up with the idea of taking men's class, which started an hour and a half later than we did. So we were just sitting in the studio for an hour and a half, just messing around. And that is the footage that you will see in these next few clips. Hey everyone. Hey, so we were at 10.15 and we were supposed to <laughs> Nine to start at 9 9 9 9 9 And all you ballet lovers know, like, ballet class is about an hour and a half, but our teacher is here, and so we, I came up with a genius idea, not a real genius group. idea, so we're going to take men's class, and we're about to do like a 20 minute blank, and I'm not ready for this. Like. And now these ladies are all warming up, saying hi <laughs> to the vlog guys, and we're not So we're about to teach the boys how to do ballet, <laughs> and so and yeah, we can't wait to take men's class. <laughs> Time for conditioning to start! <laughs>
since the whole fiasco happened with my class being canceled, I was not able to wear my point shoes the day before, so this was my second time on point. And it was already feeling better than it was the first day. It was already less painful than it was two days prior. Every day, little by little, I was gaining my mobility back on point. I didn't get to show this properly, but I was pretty far back in my point shoes on my surgery leg. The scar tissue buildup after my surgery really prevented me from being able to get over my box and all the way up on point. The only way that I can get rid of it is ice massaging and time. So that's all I could really do. I can I just have to wait for it and you will see like I sit down sometimes to massage it out and just to give it a break and then I get back up and I try it again you will also see me doing a lot of tendus which helped me gain my strength back but at the same time prevented my ankle from experiencing too much trauma from the point shoes I was also struggling with a mental block with going on point I've had this injury since Thanksgiving, so my mind was afraid of the pain that I would feel. But I'm currently working on telling myself, like, it's all okay now, the source of the pain is gone, you don't have to be afraid anymore, so yes. People never talk about the mental side of point, but it really is 80% mental and 20% physical in my brain. I also wanted to talk about something that's been heavy on my noggin. On Tuesday, March 16th, eight people were shot and six of them were Asian women. There has been a spike in anti-Asian violence and it has really shaken me up being an Asian American. I know this is completely like not related to my recovery process, but being a Filipino American and having this platform, I feel like it is my duty to bring stuff like this to light. Ever since the start of this pandemic, there has been a rise in anti-Asian crimes and attacks and it really scares me. All I ask you guys is to stand with the Asian community. This is not just a fight for people of Asian descent. This is a fight for all people. No matter what race, ethnicity, color you are, we are all human. We are all the same. This is why I stand for Black Lives Matter. I'm not just fighting for Asian lives or Black lives. I am fighting for everyone's lives. An attack on one community is an attack on all of the people and we all need to get together, unite, and fight this as a nation. Racism is not tolerated anywhere. If you have any racist bone on your body, you can, you can click off this video. Get out of my life because I do not tolerate that here. I don't tolerate homophobia, transphobia on this channel. All ethnicities, sexual orientations, and religions are all welcome here on my channel. This channel is a safe space for all of you, and I ask that you show the same love and support towards my community. I will leave a link down below with resources that you can use to help and join in this fight because this is not acceptable. I love you guys. Please be kind. Every single night, I definitely feel a difference if I don't do this. My foot gets incredibly inflamed. It's not as bad as it used to be, um, but my foot gets so inflamed after ballet class or just like doing a lot of releves and jumping makes my ankle really puffy. It's just scar tissue, you know? It's just, that's the only thing that's really holding me back right now. So yeah, I sit here for 20 minutes. Oh, I forgot to set my timer. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. <sighs> now we wait. I am currently re-watching the Wizards of Waverly Place movie because I want to relive my childhood. <laughs> Anyways, right now I am working on re-sewing some point shoes. Since I'm going back on point now, I want to change some things. So if you guys watched my point shoe collection video, I mentioned that I've always had a twisting problem with my shoes. I don't know if it's the size of my feet, the way they're shaped or whatever, but every single point shoe I have tried, they have always twisted on me and it kind of makes 
like balancing on point, really unstable. So my friend Haley, hey, hey, maybe you're watching this. She told me to crisscross my elastics. Ever since my first day on point, I've always just done the single loop elastic, but apparently the crisscross elastic helps with the twisting. So here I've got the three pairs of point shoes that I have in my dance bag right now. This is a super dead pair. This is my nicely broken in pair. And then this is a newer pair of point shoes. As you can see, this pair doesn't have any ribbons on them since I took them off. I wasn't wearing them for a while, but I want to start doing my bar in point shoes. I used to do it all the time when I was at my home studio and it made me super strong. So I really want to get that strength back again. So I'm going to be using this as like my experiment pair just because this is the most dead and oldest pair. So because I need two bands of elastic per point shoe now, I'm going to be taking the elastic off of my nicely broken in pair. And I'm going to be using that to do the crisscross on my dead shoes. And just recently I restocked on some more Gainer Menden elastic and some block stretch ribbon. If you guys watched my how I prep my point shoes video, I was using this new elastic by Gainer Minden. Well, new elastic to me because I've never tried it before, but I was trying this invisible elastic. If you can see it, it has stretched out and it's all stringy and like, it does not feel the best on point. I personally do not like it. So I will be seam ripping these off and sewing on new elastics. Here is what I ordered off of Discount Dance. So I have my Gainer Minden elastics. You can see Gainer Minden, and then I have my block stretch ribbons. I will never ever go back to regular satin ribbons. So yeah, I'm just going to get a move on this. So I sewed my super dead pair of point shoes. As you guys can see, I did the crisscross elastic. I sewed the back part of the elastic about a thumbs width away from this back seam. And then I sewed my ribbons and elastic on the outside and I layered it. I do have kind of an issue with my point shoes being pretty tight and like rubbing on me. So that's why I sewed them on the outside. So this is what I did with my super dead pair of point shoes. And then with my nicely broken in pair of point shoes, I actually took some inspiration from Scout Forsyth on YouTube. So I used a brand new elastic for this pair and I decided to crisscross my elastics this way. So I folded it and then I sewed in like a V-shape form and then I sewed it in the same place. I was trying them on and it has really helped with the twisting. Um, it still twists a little, little bit, like the tiniest bit, but it is much better than what it used to be. So I'm very excited about that. So that is the progress that I have done so far, but I have not sewn my newer pair of point shoes. I'm planning on using this brand new pair when we film Sleeping Beauty for our end of the year show. So I'm going to walk through how I sew them with you guys. So first I'm going to start off with the elastic. So you have your elastic and basically I just try to find the halfway point which is right here and then to sew it in that crisscross way you sew it like this and you can sew it on the inside of your point shoes or the outside so I'm going to take this elastic and sew it on the back of this point shoe like this Okay, now it is time for the ribbons. So I have the stretch ribbons right here. Okay, so it comes in this one long strand. All you do is take it, fold it in half, and you cut. And then you fold it in half again. So this is two ribbons for one shoe, and then two ribbons for another shoe. Okay, so here's how the elastics turned out, nice. And now I measure where I want to um, sew the elastics, where I want to cut them, uh, because if I just leave it like this, that is way too big for my ankle. After all my experimenting, I have figured out that two inches off the end is good for me, so I take the ruler, measure two inches, then I mark it with a pencil, I do the same for this one. And then I'm going to take one of the ribbons and I'm going to place it at the little pencil mark that I made. And then I'm going to sew it. Since this one is coming from the right side of the point shoe, I'm going to sew it crossing over to this side. And then I sew it right behind, as you can see where the old stitches were, I sew it right behind that seam where my arch is. If you're still figuring out where you want to cut your elastics, you can just mark where you think is good for you and then sew it 
and then test it. Don't cut it right away because it might be too tight on you. And if you cut it too short, then you can't do anything about it and you have to get a whole new elastic. So that's what you can do to save on elastics. I'm going to sew it right about there and I'm going to sew it in a box like I showed you guys in my point shoe video. out on how they feel by the way guys this is my surgery leg so it looks like a biscuit right now but um, hopefully in a couple weeks it'll look better but um, they're feeling pretty good they're still like the tiniest little bit of a twist but it feels pretty good and this is why I told you guys not to cut the elastic off right away because see you can just sew it like this and if it's good then you can just cut it off right there and if it's not good then you can just undo the stitches and do it again. So since it feels good, I'm going to cut off the excess elastic. And that is how I sew my point shoes. <laughs> and you just repeat that same process on the other point shoe. So this is my first time trying out the new crisscross elastics on my point shoes and it definitely helped with my alignment. I felt so much more stable on point and I was very happy with the way they felt. And I was also feeling so confident back on point and I was able to amp it up a little more on this day. I was able to do faster releves and I felt like I was able to get over my box more. I felt so much more confident to the point where I felt like I could do single leg releves and I was less scared to go on point and oh my gosh that was such an accomplishment for me such a tiny little accomplishment but it was big in my eyes I was starting to feel like my old self again but a new and improved version of myself I was so happy that I was even able to wear my point shoes and do single leg work so I was I was really happy with how fast I was progressing and yeah I was just feeling really happy Wow, I was feeling really happy with myself after doing those fast releves and those fast Asia pays. I also felt inclined to do releves in center and oh my gosh, even though I was falling all over the place and I was losing my balance, I was just so happy that I was making so much progress. And as you guys can see, I was still a little far back in my left ankle, but you know, in that moment, I was just grateful that I was already making progress and I felt ready to do center. And so I did. So a couple days later, I started doing center on point and oh my gosh, guys, doing adagio in point shoes is 10 times harder than doing adagio in flat shoes. Stability was one of the biggest things that I struggled with after surgery. It's crazy how much muscle I lost in just one week on crutches. Even a simple arabesque promenade in my flat shoes, I would feel so unstable and I would be like losing my balance. So doing it in point shoes was a whole nother battle. And I was also already doing singles in center on point. I was still struggling with a mental block with doing pirouettes on point, which is why I limited myself to doing singles. But you know, every day I'm getting stronger and I'm getting more confident and I'm feeling like myself again.
So at this point, I was able to do almost everything in center with my point shoes, of course, with modifications. I was not doing any crazy triples or anything, but I was not wearing my point shoes when I jumped. Wearing point shoes when you're jumping is a whole nother battle, and my ankle was just not ready for that, and I still did not have the strength to do that yet. So I took off my point shoes for jumping. So after a week of feeling confident in my dancing again and just getting back on point, I had a really rough day this day. You guys might not be able to tell with my dancing, but I was just so frazzled and I just felt so off my game the entire day. This was the first day that I ever missed a gym session. My alarm didn't go off that morning and I accidentally skipped my gym session, which really threw me off my schedule and I was like really upset. And I know it's such like a minor inconvenience and I shouldn't let it ruin my day, but I don't know, once I got to dance, I was feeling so exhausted. I was feeling so tired. Everything just felt so heavy. I remember doing fondues and adagio at the bar it was so, so hard for me this day um, and I felt like I could barely get through class and I was I was really struggling guys from the first tondu in our warm-up I wanted this day to end so badly I would be looking at the clock the entire day and I just wanted to go home and curl up in my bed you know as a professional the audience doesn't care if you're tired or if something's hurting they are paying for a show and they're paying for a good ass show and you gotta give it to them. And it's days like these where you prove to yourself what strength you have and what fire you have inside of you. So don't test me. I don't want this to get messy. Yeah, drop down a little ass empty. Yeah, like I just wanna hit delete. Come and test me. Hit you with that smile.